Hello all and welcome to SourceCAD tutorial. In this section of tutorial, I'll make an M8 metric board which has been requested by one of my subscribers. Although he sent the calculations, I'll use it along with my own calculations. Okay, so let's begin our metric board by using Helix tool. So I'll start by using Helix. So select Helix. Use origin as the center. So type 0, 0. Now in radius I'll enter 4 and 4 and turn height 1.25 units then number of turns 16 okay we are done with the helix now let's go to this front view and we'll make the profile for thread for making profile of thread first I'll orient this view so I'll make a line with a length of 0 0.15625 units and again a line with a length of 0 0.7675 units okay there it is now I'll make a line from here at an angle of minus 30 degrees now you need to make sure that on O snap here on O snap 30 degrees is turned on so please make sure before making this line okay then join these two lines okay and trim the extra portion okay I'll join join this profile completely using J enter now we are done with this I'll rotate it to 90 degrees to align it with the helix so rotate it now move it using move tool and place it like this now I'll use sweep tool but in this case before using sweep tool I just have to make sure that I'll use surface instead of using solid so go to mode and select surface and then select this object and then helix it might take some time depending upon your processor speed and here is our helix I have not used solid in this case because in that case if I would have used solid the geometry will become quite different from what we are expecting here so you can go ahead and try solid also now let's go to patch and close this open area so click on this triangle and make sure it is at position and double enter okay uh, I just repeat this process on the upper end of this helix as well so here also go to patch and select this edge and enter twice okay so our helix is almost done now I'll join this entire surface a warning message will appear go ahead select continue the union operation and now convert to solid select your object press enter it will convert this geometry into solid okay now the body so select circle and select it center at 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 so cylinder would be better 0 comma 0 okay I have not aligned the axis so first we need to align the axis so go to this and align the axis now home view and make it parallel again go to cylinder select origin 0 comma 0 as the center and a radius of 4 unit we need to specify a height of minus 20 units in this case okay so like this 
now after this go to this origin and this time i'll enter a radius value of 4.7675 and enter and enter a height of minus 10 units again okay we are done here now for making the cap select cylinder again go to the top center and select a radius of 9 units and a height of obviously you use, use minus minus 5 unit in this case select fillet select this edge and a radius of 2 units and press enter twice okay now select polygon tool with number of sides 6 and select any one of the center then inscribe circle and an inscribed radius of 9 units okay you might not see it here but it's it's been made there okay it's inside this cylinder so I need to take it out first so select this selection cycling this one and now select polyline and use this gizmo to move it up okay done now go to extrude select your object and extrude it completely just to make it pass through complete cylinder now select intersection tool and select these two objects and press enter okay so here we have this thing so our bolt is complete I think you might be interested in making the nut also so for making nut it's very easy go to cylinder again select origin as the center so 0 comma 0 would be good or you can select the center also so select center shift and right click to make this selection and then enter a radius of 9 units and a height of 7 units then fill it a radius and a radius of 2 units select both these edges and press enter twice now again I'll just move it to whatever height you want to place it and I'll go ahead and make a polygon with six sides that is a hexagon on the center so shift right click to make this center uh, appear here and then inscribed again the radius is 9 extrude select this enter and extrude it up to the side now intersection tool and select these two objects and press enter and here we have so our nut and bolt m8 nut and bolt metric has been prepared with the specified dimensions i hope you liked it thank you for watching